All right, y'all. I just watched my first Caitlin Clark uh, game, and I just kind of want to do a little reaction to it. Just a little breakdown from, you know, a couple interesting things that I observed about it. I'm going to try to shoot this off the top of my head. Um, probably the biggest thing that I notice about this game is I I will compare it to it's it's just a simple fact that you can tell and and seriously I'm not just I'm I'm just speaking facts I'm not trying to vine ride uh Caitlyn or anything like that I'm just speaking general unbiased facts um you can tell that she's literally just like on another level um another another dimension another vibration that's the word i'm really looking for she's on another vibration and the, <clears throat> one of the best ways that i can compare that is to like <clears throat> mike tyson uh in his prime it's like you can like a lot of his opponents were defeated before the fight even even started because you could if you watch some of mike tyson old tapes um, you can just see that he's just energetically in another world. He, he is so it's like I compare that because it's like she's playing a different game, it's like they're not even playing the same game. And one of the best ways, you know, and, and you know, it's 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 actually pretty pretty dope to watch. She she's just on another she she's not even playing the same game as everybody else that's one of the biggest things i noticed number two iowa is actually a really good team it's not just caitlin clark it's like the team is actually really good and one of the best ways that i can explain that that i observe is like whenever iowa would um would 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 make a basket it's like you could see in their energy and in their intensity they stay locked in you know it's like they make a basket and then you know gabby or caitlin or kate or whoever they're they're locked in they're talking to each other they're communicating like hey make sure you da 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 da, da get back on this and you know what i'm saying stay focused and da, da, da. never they make a basket what i noticed about the other team was like they they were a little too girly and i know that sounds ironic but this is competitive sports and it's like they would like make a shot like eh. and 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 it's like yay i made a basket but with iowa you could see the synergy um you could see the synergy going on between them and 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 things like that so they're actually a good freaking team now something else i've actually been watching all uh women ncaa uh basketball today i've watched all i haven't seen the lsu game but i'm noticing some interesting things about them they're actually a really good team too you can hate them if you want to but good is good i'll save that for another video but what i have noticed about i've seen caitlin's game i just saw juju's game and now i'm about to watch Paige becker's game but what i'm noticing about the ncaa that i am the women's ncaa that i am liking a lot is that there's talent all over the court in the nba don't get me wrong the stars are superheroes lebron Dame, Giannis, and him, and, and, and even, what's that guy's name, Wimby? Oh, Wimby is ridiculous. Don't get it twisted. I can see it a mile away. He's the next one. But um, don't get me wrong. They're, they're, they're superheroes on another planet. But a lot of the secondary guys, you get a lot of average guys on the NBA team, to be honest with you. You get a lot of secondary guys, and I'm not knocking their talent. I'm speaking compared to their peers. Does anybody that know basketball know that the, the, the 10th string guy on the NBA team would wash anybody on a local court, okay? They don't miss. I don't know what it is about that, but if you ever seen NBA players on the local court, I don't care who it is. It could be Luke Longley, okay, with all due respect. Um, 
they don't miss on the local court. So, but compared to their other peers, you have a lot of average guys. You have a lot of, you know, guys that, that kind of handicap a team or whatnot. What I'm liking about the women's NCAA is there is talent everywhere. There's not just one star uh, and, you know, everybody else, you know, got to get up to speed. No, you can sense this, this, this synergy and this coherency, especially at this level. One thing that I love to do is I could watch any sports, any activity on its elite level when it's the best of the best of the best of the best, because winning is a vibration. Winning is an energy. It really is a mindset. I hate to sound like your typical motivational speaking video, but it literally is a mindset. So in order for anybody to reach the best of 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 what they do, you got a lot of things that I could pick up of interest. So I tend to do that. But I just love that there's there's talent everywhere and it's actually pretty entertaining to watch because a superstar moment can come from almost anybody on the court. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just a good little, little bit of insight that I've observed. Oh, and one last final thing that I want to say about Caitlin Clark is, um, you know, it, it, it really kind of hurt me just a little bit, just a little bit, because I know how people are, so it don't hurt me too much. But it hurt me just a little bit that today Caitlin played relax, mature, focused, non-reckless basketball that's not what hurt me um non-reckless basketball as she should there's a lot on the line you kind of don't want to play hero hero ball with the championship on the line and maybe that's the maturity she gained from last year on to this year is knowing that you know it's not all about hero ball it's about being smart and doing what it takes to uh to win the title um, she actually played very mature ball. Like she played very, very calm, mature ball. She read the energy of the game. She kind of let it unfold instead of just going out and attacking it and playing hero ball and still in the game. But what got me upset about that? Not upset, upset, but you know what I just find very interesting is that everybody that was talking shit about her last week and the week before about doing things on the court one day that these people do every single day of their lives okay basically being hypocritical for those in the back um everybody that that was hating i don't see them saying people that was hating coming back on you know these social apps and giving her props and respect for actually playing a mature high level championship level of basketball i don't see these same people doing that and for what it's worth you know you know do 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 what that observation what you will i just find it very interesting that the same people that was hating on her behavior okay wasn't giving props and respect because she actually played mature level-headed basketball this week so that was just an interesting observation anyway i'll go ahead and close out this video man it's a beautiful thing for women's basketball it actually is very interesting to watch i personally like that it is a different energy than men's basketball i personally like that i, I just like a mix-up i like different energy and it is entertaining it actually is entertaining these chicks really be kind of balling out here so man much props to them much love to them it's a beautiful thing to see and yeah i just go ahead and top that off man just a quick little reaction from you know my first day of watching women's basketball and even a clayton and Car a caitlin clark basketball game uh just real interesting things but she she's literally she's on another level she 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 they're not even playing the same game she's on another level god bless